Good afternoon. Well, we're going to stick with the chicken. What we're going to do is a five and a quarter pound chicken, and I'm going to do it on the pit barrel. I'm going to hang it. Um, yeah, I'll just show you how I get it prepped, maybe, or maybe I'll just show it to you once I get it all prepped. I don't know yet. Okay, well, here's the bird. Um, it's a chicken. It's a full, it's a full chicken. It's got the breast side, it's got the back side. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bone out, and I like using this like a heavier duty pair of kitchen shears and I kind of just feel where the back is, stick my scissors in there, and just get to cutting. These work pretty good in my opinion. So this might be a bit like my longest video ever. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it over like that. I'm gonna see if I can get the rest of that back going out. Or some of it, not all of it really. But uh just go ahead and chomp right through it. Excuse the heavy breathing, but the bird is somewhat frozen yet. Okay, there that is, that's out. And now in order to hang this, you have to cut it down the breast as well. So I'll just pick a spot right in the middle of the breast and go ahead and cut it. And once you really get through that first breast bone, uh, it's pretty simple, well, pretty simple. Okay, well, there's the two halves of the chicken. Uh, I'm just going to let these sit on the pan. Actually, I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this on top of it and let the chicken sit on top of here. And I'm just going to kind of let it dry out in the fridge for about an hour uh, before I rub it down and stick the hooks in. But I'll pick back up once I'm ready to rub it down. Okay, uh, got the bottom side all rubbed down already. And again, all I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of olive oil. Just getting her good and coated. This is just straight up olive oil. I know the last time I put some seed in in it. Um, this time I didn't. But it doesn't really need to be that heavy on there because like I said, all it's going to do... Like, you know, it, the seasoning sticks to it and I kind of think it helps brown the skin up a little bit too. So that's it for the olive oil for me. And then what we're going to use... <clears throat> this is really good. I love this stuff. It's uh, Morton Nature's Seasons. This will go lightly on that. Okay, and then I'm going to hit it up with some of the, the big dicks, dry rub. Uh, this one says, great for beef and wild game. It smells really, really, really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go kind of heavier on this just because I gave it a little taste. It, you know, it doesn't taste that salty to me. Uh, and I, in my opinion, a lot of this stuff, like when you're cooking it, especially because I'm going to be hanging it, um, a lot of it will cook off. That's just my opinion. Like I said, could be wrong. Been wrong many times. So we're just going to go ahead and finish season that up, get under the wing. That's going to be about uh, good enough for me. We'll see you at the pit barrel. Alright, just put the chicken on. I'll give you a quick look. You can see i got a rebar in this time. Um, when you're hanging, you got to hang from the rebar, so I'm hanging. And I'd probably say 90% of the time I'm putting my rebar in. I'll just lift one of the pieces of the chicken out. Give you a look. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but there it should be. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be about a two, two and a half hour cook. So I will check back in probably at about the one hour mark. And also I noticed my first two videos, the little rubber thing on top of the camera kind of obstructed your view a little bit. So kind of apologize for that. But hopefully it doesn't affect it too much. So we'll see in a little bit. All right. Been an hour. I'll just give you a quick peek at the chicken. There should be. Looking pretty good. Um, probably gonna let this go for another half hour and check the internal temperature. So, I'll let you know. All right. Wait, look at that. Chicken just came off the pit barrel. I'm gonna let it sit there for uh, five, ten minutes, and then I'm gonna cut into it. So, I'll give you guys a look. I mean, just look how good it looks. I mean, this. Oh, chicken on a pit barrel. If anybody likes. Chicken, like they love chicken, like get a pit barrel cooker, you will not be disappointed. But I'm going to let this sit, I'll cut it up, and then I'll give you a look once I got my dinner all plated up. Okay, well, dinner's all ready, she's all plated up, got a nice little drumstick there. Uh, this is the breast, I just pulled it right off the bone, just 
cut some pieces out of it. Um, give you a little close up on that. But oof, I've already had a couple pieces of it, and I'll tell you, like I said, chicken in a pit barrel, fantastic. Uh, and then this is just a little bit of it's like rice aroni pasta thing. It's pretty good. Um, then there's our half of chicken. I'll probably have that for lunch or something tomorrow. So uh, that's about it. Uh, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, and uh, I'm going to dig into this. We'll catch you on the flippity flop.